Hey guys, welcome to another news breakdown here on Soto Pop. Soto! All right, as always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos, and today uh, we only have a little bit of news to go through in the Soto Zero One blog update, but there are some very important updates uh, and some dates to to keep track of uh, that you're gonna need to know if you're pre-ordering stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive right into the Zo uh, Soto Zero One Riser blog. Uh, and we got exactly what we expected from the teaser last week. Zero uh, zero one. Uh, we have our full sort of breakdown of this guy. So let's just figure out what this dude's all about. Um, of course, he comes with the regular uh, sword weapon. Um, they didn't really touch on that too much. The thing they really wanted to touch on were some of the mold differences, mold changes. Um, so if you didn't know, uh, the suit, the actual suit itself is based off of the Bloodstark Night Rogue undersuit. Uh, so they easily could have reused that suit design uh, for the legs and, you know, the, the thighs and calves and all that stuff. Uh, but they went through and remolded the entire thigh area. It doesn't look like the calf and the, the um, shin section are remolded at all. They seem to be the same or at least the same CAD model. But the thigh is completely different. They wanted to rework it to make it work with the zero one one line uh, because they do have that inset um, mushroom peg with ball joint now. Um, so, yeah, that's really neat. They went above and beyond, uh, as Soto always does. They, they could have easily just reused this mold, uh, but they didn't, and I really appreciate it. Uh, another thing, though, is that there is a silver strap on it this time, so they did technically have to remold it anyway. Uh, so, I don't know. Either way, we're living in a reality where this is completely remolded, and I absolutely love it. Um, and then, next up, the next change they wanted to tell us about was uh, the chest. So, they, again, they could have reused the mold from... Uh, what is it, Jin and Hirobi, but they didn't. And actually, honestly, they probably couldn't, uh, because their shoulder pads, um, they have, they have the different, they have a different sort of shoulder pad design, um, than, I guess, the rest of Soto itself, uh, because their shoulder pads were closer to the neck, um, and extended further out, so they needed to have a ball joint instead of the, um, the standard, like, uh, was it bicep swivel either way it had to be completely changed for Jin and Hirobi and they had to change it back to the standard style uh, here with 001 because he has their shoulder pads and um, the actual standard 01 shoulder pads you know the standard Shoto uh, sorry Soto shoulder pad design um, that means they scrunched up the uh, actual chest connect chest mounted shoulder pads uh, but they did not compromise on any of that quality. Uh, if you do remember from uh, the blog post about Jin Hirobi, they have this, uh, this knurled pattern on bits of their chest, uh, and that extends to this mold as well. They are able to still recreate that. Um, like I said, top shoulder pads are changed. They're, they're squished down slightly, but they still have all of the paint apps that they normally would have. To my eye, it looks like there are three separate, like three different looking colors on this chest. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's like uh, a gunmetal, a silver, and a black. I don't know if you can see that, but that, that might be just my eye tricking me and the lighting of it. It might just be the two. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this looks neat. Again, them going above and beyond. Um, and completely reworking the chest. I'm sure that uh, there's some sort of mechanism in there that needed to change to um, accommodate for, I guess that the the regular like mushroom peg in in the shoulder instead of the ball joint. So uh, I'm excited to see how this comes out. Uh, next up, we have the head. They wanted to talk about. Um, this thing being completely molded in PVC, if you notice, um, all the pictures we've seen of this guy, the face is completely painted, that's because it's all molded in PVC, uh, you can't put stickers over that, that's sort of the reason why, um, and from what I gather, Google Translate wasn't being too helpful with this, uh, but from what I gather, 
Um, it's because they already knew they were using PVC for um, Zondras' cape in this wave. So they wanted to sort of fit in this dude's head um, into that mold. Since again, they were using PVC already. Um, and they they were able to accomplish that and what it did was uh you know how most of the uh zero one figures and i guess most soto figures in general just have that negative space behind their antenna well they cut down on that and it looks a lot sleeker here so this is a change that i definitely appreciate a move to pvc is always really neat to see um so yeah that's actually it for zero zero one in this blog but they wanted to mention uh, some important updates, not really date changes, uh, but these dates for the movie special set and the double return set. These two premium Bandai sets are going to be closing soon. Uh, so if you wanted these, if you've been on the fence uh, on getting your pre-orders, now would be the time. They're closing on Thursday, April 9th. Uh, in Japan time, so convert that to whatever uh, time zone you're currently in. Um, uh, they're closing that day, so again, make sure just have all that set and ready to go if you don't want to regret not getting these. Um, and on top of that, uh, another thing I didn't expect, uh, we got the Zero One blog is coming back potentially next week. Um, it says we're getting a sample review of Zero Seven as early as next Sunday. Um, and I sort of did the math. Uh, if, if they need to sort of line up the Zero One releases on the blog with something that's actually coming out soon, um, the... The uh, release was pushed, like all the releases were pushed back at least like a month and some change. Um, AI-06 was slated to come out uh, last month uh, at the end of March, but now it's coming out early May. Uh, so that's a month and some change and the subtle blog took a, bit, a break on 01 for a month and some change. So it does look like um, we are on track to sort of like... We are behind enough to be on track with the releases, so I think I think we don't have to take any more breaks after this, barring any sort of like emergency things that do happen. Uh, so I am really excited to see Soto continue on this route. Um, and yeah, anyways guys, that's about it for the news this week. If you like this episode- oh wait, no, that's not it. We have some shipping updates. Uh, so, I know AmiAmi, Ami, if some of you ship from AmiAmi, Ami, uh, Sal is not going to be usable. And I've heard that's going to be across Mandarake and HLJ and probably all uh, shipping services from Japan. They're just not doing Sal shipping, which is traditionally the cheapest shipping. Um, and uh, there will be delays with some other ones. So just, and uh, in some instances, they're not going to be shipping at all to certain countries make sure to go to those sites um, to check to see where you land uh, in your region, in your country. Uh, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Tell me in the comments down below what you think is going to be in 07. Uh, again, I'm super excited that we're getting any uh, 07 information at all. Uh, and I'm pretty sure some Rampage Vulcan is going to be in there. Um, and yeah, on top of that, uh, stay safe, stay indoors, keep inside, flatten the curve. Guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy.